Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. I'm going to read through pretty much the full article here. There's a link in the description. Uh, trigger warning, this does involve the murder of a young child, a baby, um, four weeks old, a boy called Ollie Davis. This heinous murder happened in October 2017 in Leicester, England, and a mother and father have been accused of murdering baby Ollie Davis, the four-year-old, four-week-old son, and uh, the parents are due to face court, I believe, today, um, so there might well be an update coming shortly in regards to this. Uh, the scumbag parents are called Kaylee Driver, 29 years of age, and Michael Davis. As I say, they're both accused of having murdered the, their own son, four-week-old Ollie Davis, in 2017. Uh, they are charged with causing or allowing the death of a child, two counts of causing grievous bodily harm, and causing or allowing a child to suffer serious physical harm. They are both pleading not guilty. They have denied the charges. Um, and one of the, I'm going to say interesting aspects, I'm reluctant to use the word interesting when going over such heinous topics, but one of the interesting aspects uh, to this situation is that they are currently on bail. They are not in jail. So they are both accused credibly of having murdered their own boy, four-week-old son, Ollie Davis, and they are not jailed. So they're currently on conditional bail, and the judge, I believe it's the judge, yeah, the judge, said the following, I will grant bail in this case because they have both been charged with murder, and this is a wholly exceptional case in this sense. The baby in this case died in October 2017 and these two, the mother and father, have been under investigation for four years. They have never presented a risk of bail. Um, so, I don't know, that's pretty odd, isn't it? That uh, they are currently facing a trial or the trial is due to start um, shortly and they are still free. So they are appearing in court uh, for a pre-trial review. The trial is expected to take place in October 2022. Seemingly, they're free as a bird until then, having potentially, allegedly, killed their four-week-old son. The judge admits to being nervous about giving them bail and not locking them up. But uh, that's what they've done. So it is odd. I mean, I'm sure the judge has some level of reasoning, some level of reasoning. But ultimately, this is pretty disgusting, isn't it? A four-year-old was killed. We don't know the details. I don't know why there aren't details within this article. Um, this is an incident which happened in October 2017, four and a half years ago, more than four and a half years ago. Uh, we're not being told anything about the death, the murder of this four week old other than his age and his name. I find that odd, but it is what it is. We don't have too much details and it is disturbing that the authorities are confident enough that the mother and father are guilty of murdering their son, yet they are given conditional bail. They're allowed to carry on their life largely without any detriment to them at this point. I don't know. What does that mean? Is that going to tell us that uh, even if they are found guilty, that their sentencing will be extremely light? Is that what we should be prepared for? I don't know. Um, I'm going to wrap things up at this stage, of course. Normally at this point, I would normally say condolences to the families of the, the lost one, the lost angel, a four-week-old a four -week -old child. Um, so condolences to the extended family. Uh, we can't offer condolences to the parents because 
they're likely the culprits. So I'm going to wrap things up here. If you do find this content valuable, or see any value in it rather, uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Give me some feedback if you like this or you don't like that. Let me know. It's okay if you disagree with my viewpoints. It's okay if you disagree with how I present these. So let me know. No problems there. Uh, but either way, uh, do comment. Stick around. Stay a part of the community. I believe there is a community here. Um, and thank you very much for listening. Thank you for your comments um, and your support. Uh, I'll, I'll carry on making a few more videos. And uh, take care, guys. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And especially any newborns that you might have within your family.